how do we take the experiences to the customers? How do we open ourselves up, connect better with the ecosystem, create enhanced value for the customers? Siram, I've heard that open banking has a lot of acronyms in it, APIs, PSD2. Can you tell me simply what those mean? Just to start with, APIs, it stands for Application Programming Interfaces. What it really means is a way for two systems to talk to each other and the set of rules and protocols that govern that communication between the two systems. PSD2 is a specific directive from European Union and UK aimed at making banks open up and uh, allowing them to give access to third-party providers to support innovation in the market. What are some of the benefits to opening that up? I mean, if you think about us as a user, we don't want a disjointed experience in, in anything we do. When you take the flight and, yeah. and you want to know uh, the traffic to get to the airport, it comes from the Google Maps of the world, and the airline information itself comes from the airlines and the airports. So this need for uh, an orchestrated, enhanced user experience yeah. That is driving this whole thing. One of the biggest advantages for APIs yep. is the low cost of setup and connectivity. And we have processes optimized to help our customers connect through those standardized protocols, through APIs. One of the questions I have is, in opening that up, how are we creating a situation in which it is safe? We're investing a lot in the infrastructure to continue protecting our customers' data. So right from authentication on who's got access to it, and making sure you are who you say you are. Because this isn't a one-time setup and done, and this is yeah. an ongoing thing. We need to make sure that this happens on every single request and every single interaction. And also showing the customers that even though they've given access to this third party, that they are in control of what data that third party sees on their behalf, and they have control over turning it off anytime that they would want. So if I think about a treasurer going into their ERP system, say today they're actually processing it through the batch processes, or they're actually reviewing it in the portal. Is there an opportunity for an API to work better there? It is a real-time, on-demand connectivity mechanism. It can help you create intelligent workflows, automate an existing workflow, eliminate a pain point, or help you chase a targeted opportunity. So when you kind of think about this context, and using the example that you gave about like uh, reconciliation and everything, the, the problem right now is if you send in a bunch of payments, you don't always have visibility into what happened to those payments in Correct. real time. With APIs, you can get this information on demand. So now this puts you in control of where is all my payments as an example. What are some of the things that you see on your roadmap? Our vision is very simple. How do we take more of our experiences and services to customers and create that enhanced experience for them? It's how do you provide the widest connectivity net for our customers so they can connect with us. How would a customer know that they're at a point that they can get started and how would they go about doing that? It all starts with collaborating with us and customers coming to us and saying, hey, I've got this idea, whether it's a pain point or a new opportunity or something targeted that they want to pursue, engaging their tech partner, uh, having a forward-leaning vision around like tech-enabled treasury yep. and their treasury of the future and what they're trying to take it to. I'm really excited about this future. Really, it does seem like it's only the beginning. Thank you.